Today I'm quite excited. I'm with the fantastic <laughs> Dr. Kate Grarock, who is an ecologist here at Mulligan Sanctuary, which is just on the outskirts. Are we in the north side of Canberra? Just on the north of Canberra, yep. And I have a very special guest for you. It could be Australia's first marsupial to have its own Instagram account, <laughs> but I am so excited to introduce you to Brian. Hello, what's going on? We're at Mulligan's Flat Woodland Sanctuary, which is a beautiful box gum grassy woodland. So um, box gum grassy woodlands are critically endangered ecosystems. Um, something like 92% of them have been cleared since European settlement because they're pretty much perfect sheep grazing, cattle grazing country. Imagine trying to protect a koala without protecting the trees and things like that that it needs. So we're trying to protect this whole system. Um, so we're really, really lucky. This is the largest patch of box gum grassy woodland in public ownership in the world. Um, and we've set up a massive fence to keep foxes and cats out. How has this come to be? How has this whole sanctuary existing? Yeah, yeah. good question. It's a, a great um, sort of collaborative project. ACT government own the land. We at the Woodlands and Wetlands Trust do outreach activities, learning things, um, science, and we work very closely with the Australian National University using mulligans as a massive outdoor laboratory to learn about woodlands, how to make them healthy, thriving ecosystems. There's a whole range of species here. We have echidnas out during the day, kangaroos and wallabies, but at night is when it really comes alive. Most of our animals in Australia are nocturnal, so out come our betongs, our quolls, our bushstone curlews, a whole range of cool animals. So I'd encourage you to come out for a night walk. Uh, Eastern betongs particularly have been uh, become extinct on the Australian mainland. So every single one of them has been uh, eaten, pretty much foxes, cats. Humans used to shoot them as well. Um, but lucky for us, they still exist in Tasmania. And we've brought them back now that we've got the sanctuary fence. They're really, really good for the ecosystem because they're what we call ecosystem engineers. So they help to make the environment healthy. So they're just digging machine. Each bedong does about 200 diggings a night. Uh, they love uh, underground truffles or mushrooms. So they dig these little guys up, they get the spores all over their nose and then they spread them through the sanctuary. And truffles are really important because they have a symbiotic relationship with tree roots. So they tap into the tree roots, they extend that network. And so all of our trees can absorb more nutrients, more water and be stronger and healthier. So we're so excited to have betongs back on the mainland. Now I came across Kate, or Dr. Kate, um, through her Instagram account because she is a mad keen bushwalker as well. So not only could you follow Dr. Kate on her Instagram adventures, but you can also follow Brian on his. And even better, check out the Mulligans Facebook page and you can learn so much more about these cute little guys and all the work that they do here at the sanctuary and how you could even maybe get involved. If you come at night, yeah, I'd, I'd be shocked if you didn't see one, to be honest, yeah. <laughs>